Welcome back to The Breakfast. Now, after spending 66 days in captivity, a 22-year-old girl known as Gloria Okole um, basically has, uh, we've heard from the police regarding why she has been in captivity. The Nigerian police force is actually alleging that this Gloria Okole is an IPOP spy who receives cash, arms, and ammunition on behalf of the IPOB because one of her friends is allegedly an IPOP member. We'll be discussing this with Mr. Harrison Guamishu, founder of Behind Bars Human Rights Foundation. Good morning, Mr. Guamishu. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, good morning. Um, please tell us um, the facts of, of this case right now about Gloria, um, the fact that her parents had been looking for her for a long time. They said they visited hospitals and mortuaries, couldn't find her until, you know, somebody who was, who was released, you know, told them that she had been seen, you know, custody of the police cooking and cleaning for them. Please give us the facts. Okay. Um, Gloria was arrested on the 17th of June. 2021, um, you know, where in at, at uh, Umutanze in Olo, uh, the government area of Umu State. She was arrested alongside others, um, taken into custody. Then, for the, fa the family, um, you know, started looking for her from hospitals to mortuaries. They couldn't find um, glory. Then, until a man named Izuchuku Okeke, um, who was arrested by IRT and detained at uh, Night Tiger Base, Oweri, the yeah, operational base in Oweri, came back and informed them that he saw Glory in detention, that Glory was there and Glory was cooking for the officers because that place is the operational base. So we were sending her around and she was cooking for them and also doing laundry for them too at the operational base, you know, um, yeah, at um, uh, Tiger Base, um, Oweri. Then the family went immediately to look for glory at the IRT office. And before this, they have been looking for her, both police stations and um, hospitals, and no, they, they couldn't find her. So getting to the IRT office uh, in Atowiri, at Tiger Base, they refused them access to see Gloria. They said they don't even know who Gloria is, that the person they were looking for was not in that uh, office. The family showed them the pictures, they refused, they said they don't know, they have not seen this girl in their custody, and she's not there. Then until the, fam the uncle, um, Kristen uh, Okole, went uh, with a colonel, an, an army, a, a soldier, to the base, that was when they would um, um, provide the girl. So they called the girl out, and the girl saw them, and they took the girl back to the cell. That was the last time they set their eyes on, um, on glory. Then something then happened. The, at that point, if an officer gave them number and was not in communication with them, and telling them that Gloria will be, will be out, that Gloria was involved with IPOP, that uh, she will be out, but they need to pay some amount of money. So the mother who sells um, fried yam at uh, Umutanzi was now borrowing money. The uncle sold a motorcycle and able to raise like 300,000, which they sent 200,000, 100,000, 20,000 naira to the account the officer provided which is sent to the uncle. Gloria was not, uh, was not uh, released to them too. They denied them access to see Gloria. A lawyer came, they denied the lawyer access to see Gloria. Then they just held, they went there again to see Gloria. They said Gloria has been transferred to Abuja, that they cannot see Gloria anymore. That was the last time they heard from Glory. Um, from um, June, July, nobody heard from Glory. Until somebody now linked them to me and said, um, we can be well, that my off my organization can help them locate where glory is and what transpired. So we started um, calling the office, IRT office in Abuja. We spoke to them on the phone. The DCP Tunji uh, Disu, who is the new uh, IRT boss, we spoke to him about glory. About glory, he assured us that he will investigate. That he just took over office. We investigate and make sure glory is granted bail if she's detained at the IRT office. Which we still have a record to. Um, so, Mr. Guamishu, what, 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 what are the charges against Gloria? Because I've seen different news reports. One said that she was arrested because they were trying to get her boyfriend, who is an IPOB member. They couldn't get her boyfriend, so they arrested her just to get her boyfriend. And we know that's against the Police Act. The Police Act, you know, basically says that it is wrong for any police officer to arrest someone in place of another. So, is that the fact, or or is it is she truly an IPOB girl or an IPOB spy? 
Also, we're seeing, you know, what, what we've seen from the police statement that they're still investigating. Also, why do we have cases where rather than have their facts mm. and evidence and come and arrest with those facts, the police go ahead and arrest somebody. She's been in prison for 66 days and now they're saying that they're still doing investigation. What are your comments on these, please? Yeah. Uh, at, the, at the IRT base, uh, Tiger Base in Uwari, they told the colonel, the family, that Glory was arrested, was used as a soft target to arrest a man who attended her birthday, who happens to be uh, her friend, her male friend, which they say, which is, uh, they, they told the family. That was what they told them in a way. Not until with the social media, the outcry, public outcry, that's where they now came up with a release. After 71 days, they came up with a press release alleging that Gloria is a spy girl to ESN and IPOB. So there was no statement of this before any, until the public art crime, they now came up with these charges. And again, we should know that Gloria has Gloria has been denied access to family members and access to lawyers. Even at the IRT office in Abuja, lawyers, our lawyers went there to see Glory and they denied uh, them access to speak to Glory before they now release this press uh, statement they released yesterday, uh, being Sunday morning. All right, um... So uh, uh, the, 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 at the first time, it was arrested in lieu because they used that as a soft target to arrest somebody. That's no, that, there's no issue about that. Because if they're looking for a suspect, they can use somebody to get somebody. That's what they did. But detaining her after getting the suspect is what we don't know. The police have not even explained the reason why they arrested Glory. Until yesterday, they released a press statement saying that she's a spy girl to, to, um, to, the, to, uh, to the ESN um, network. Mm -hmm. Mr. Gwamishu, is there any way that these um, claims can be proven? You know, by your claims by the police that she was arrested as a soft target or that she's a spy for the ESN. Um, is there any way that these things can be proven? And then also, um, you know, what exactly, what are the fears really with, you know, a lot of other people who have been arrested in the Southeast and simply tagged ESN members or ESN associates? Um, is, does that also shed light on you know, those possibilities that there's a lot of innocent people who might be languishing in police cells? Um, without, you know, one, and of course, simply just being tagged as ESN members. Yes, they are. I think uh, last time a young man who worked with an oil company was arrested in Oweri, who came for the uh, in loss barrier and was tagged an IPOB member, a non government, and later he was released after our social media outcry. So there are several, there are many glory out there who are in detention and tagged members of IPOB. So if Glory committed the crime as alleged by the police. Then why not take, take her to court? All right, because she's innocent until, until proving guilty by a competent court of judicial, which is the uh, which is the court. So Gloria, Glory would have been taken to the high to the court where her charges charges will be read, and she will either plead guilty or not guilty. But this for seven six days, they've not taken Glory to court. So at this point now, we should be looking at that means there are other people too who are in detention, many of them, not only Glory. Now, the Izuchuku who, who informed the family about the whereabouts of Glory, today, nowhere, nobody knows where Izuchuku is today. And nobody even talking about Izuchuku. We're now focused on Glory. I think after Glory, the Izuchuku's case will, which, um, will also be open to the public too. So there are many Glory who are in detention today, and that is the fact. The issue here is uh, the cells are not open to the public. The Administration of criminal Justice said that the, a committee in a constituent can review, can visit the police stations to see the image and also interview them too. But these things are not being done. There are many glory in the custody, in the police custody today, who are tagged IPOB members. And that's the true fact. So, so what is the current situation with this case? Um, are you still in uh, contact with uh, Tunji Disu? Um, and it, it, it is also very mind-blowing that police has the resources to move a, in court, suspect after keeping the suspect for more than 60 days. They have the resources to move that suspect all the way to Abuja just to ensure that the person is not released. It's, it's just really mind-blowing. Um, so what is the current situation uh, before we go? And are you still in contact with Tunji, uh, Tunji Disu? Yeah. Um, as at Friday, Tunji told us to come to the police station um, to they, are, they can release her on bail. Then after her release, if, the, if she's needed, we can provide her. We agreed to bring somebody who can take her on bail. On Saturday, we went to see them to, to Tunji. Then Tunji now told us that the case is off from his hand, that the case is now before the first PRO 
Frank Mba. We started calling Frank Mba to Frank Mba. See, today you are going to be picking our calls. One of them pick our calls, including the Tunji, don't, they, they don't pick our calls. So at this point now, it's now before the, uh, the law, which the court, which the lawyers uh, are working to see that um, something is being done for, glo uh, for glory, which I mean, some things, uh, uh, I, I, can't, I can't just uh, uh, say it on air here, until we do the needful for glory. Not only glory too, but others too. The man who um, disclosed the whereabouts of glory, who was now the thing. The man is an Okada man, Okada rider, who was never involved in anything. He was raided and arrested and detained. So we are, the lawyers are working uh, to make sure that glory gets out on bail. Then again, too, the police too should also bring up charges against that if they have any. All right, Aris and Guamishu, thank you very much. Thank you. I really wish I had more time, but you know, there are some conversations that are just really, really hard to to understand. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Yeah, thank you. And we hope that you know she is uh, released as soon as possible, um, or charged to court, and we will be speaking with you again. All right, and that's where we will be wrapping up this morning. Thank you very much for starting our Monday with us. If you missed out on these conversations or you want to catch up, remember, it's pretty simple. It's at Plus TV Africa on Facebook and Instagram. Same with our YouTube channel and at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Osao Gie Ogbongwa. I am Annetta Felix. Have a great week ahead.